Coming up on today's Chiefs report, opening night is finally set. We'll talk about the Chiefs opener in a moment. We have a Rasheed Rice, I'll put air quotes, update. Uh, not a ton of new info, but some from Adam Schefter and a new wide receiver trade target emerging for Kansas City. We'll dive into all that here on today's show. My name is Harrison Graham from Chat Sports. Week one is set for Kansas City. At Thursday night football, they will host the Baltimore Ravens at Arrowhead Stadium. I kind of thought the Houston Texans would be the team they would go with here, but uh, they're going to go with Baltimore, kind of the reigning or the rematch of the AFC Championship game, which, look, is not a bad call by any means. I mean, this is going to do huge numbers, obviously, but if you're a Ravens fan, you're in champs, right? Like, you have not been able to get over the hump against Kansas City. Now, maybe playing them week one, like you'd rather play them then in, like, December, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a bloodbath in this series as Mahomes is 3-1 and one against Baltimore in the regular season, 4-1 and one if you count the uh, AFC Championship last year. Uh, the regular season numbers, I mean, you could argue he's played better against Baltimore than any other team. Almost 72% completion, just under 1,500 yards in four games, which is outrageous. 12 touchdowns to two interceptions, a passer rating of 119.1. Finally put, Patrick Mahomes' own Lamar Jackson. The only game he has lost to him is when Clyde Edwards-Alaire a couple of years ago put the ball on the turf when the game was about to be won for the Kansas City Chiefs. So this has been a pretty one-sided uh, game for Kansas City and quarterback v. quarterback, too. I mean, look at Lamar's numbers against the Chiefs when you just saw Mahomes against the Ravens. 56% completion, just 750 yards in those four games. Four touchdowns and two picks. Uh, pass rating under 79. Obviously, he's rushed for a decent amount, 303 yards and three rushing touchdowns. But it is not even close who has performed better in these matchups uh, between Kansas City and Baltimore. So I think if you're the Chiefs, you're like, ah, we're not worried about Baltimore. I'm not saying Baltimore's going to be worried about this matchup, but you're kind of like, ah, oh, man, we're probably 0-1. I mean, that's just the reality of how this series has gone. But uh, we'll see. Who you got in week one? Type KC for the Kansas City Chiefs, BAL for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I'm going to roll with the Chiefs. I, uh, I like how they match up against Baltimore. All right, let's talk Rasheed Rice here. I know it gets nauseating a little bit talking about this situation, but when there's new info, it's my job to talk about it. Adam Schefter hopping on SportsCenter. Given at least somewhat of an update here, let me read the quote and then uh, we'll react. He says, it sounds like the Chiefs are embracing a multi-game suspension for Rasheed Rice. Doesn't look like he's going to be a part of the opening night game against the Baltimore Ravens. Again, the personal conduct policy mandates certain discipline be in place no matter what. Uh, the facts right now are against Rasheed Rice, and we'll see what, what the investigation turns up. There's certainly a concern within the organization considering what has happened this offseason, considering that alleged harassment last week, considering the history he had in college, there is a slew of incidents the league is sifting through, likely resulting in a multi-game suspension. So that's kind of a lot of words that didn't say a ton of new things, although I'll outline one thing in a second, like bracing for a multi-game suspension. Uh, James Palmer two weeks ago hopped on Steve Smith's podcast and said, yeah, they're embracing for a long suspension, maybe even half a season. So like that part of it isn't new. It sounds like from Kansas City standpoint, like they're preparing for – uh, Rasheed Rice to miss at least a decent amount of time. I will say this, one section of that quote caught my eye, the part of there is a slew of incidents this league is sifting through, and especially when he kind of referred to the part of he had issues in college. Remember, after the car accident and after the alleged Dallas incident, which is still being investigated, an old draft report popped up of from an anonymous, I think, uh, either GM or uh, scout, uh, saying, this was during his pre-draft process, saying, great talent, but he's a bad dude. That was the phrase. So I think it's one of those things where Schefter brings this up here where it's not exactly like, I don't want to use surprise, but a shock to some people in NFL circles that this guy has found himself in trouble because uh, it sounded like when he was at SMU, he you know probably got away with a few things, which you know when you're a star player at a school like that, uh, not surprising, right? That's that's the world we live in. Uh, again, you know, this is obviously a player that has a chance to be a really special guy on this team. I mean, he, he we saw him emerge as the number one receiver in the second half of last season. But if he keeps getting in trouble, and again, we're going to wait and see how the Dallas thing plays out, a lot of conflicting information out there, um, 
he's going to get suspended. Whether the Chiefs would consider cutting him or not, that remains to be seen. But uh, if you're Kansas City, you got to brace for the worst and uh, be ready to go moving forward, which is why we're going to talk about another receiver here in just a second. But first, fill in the blank. Rasheed Rice will miss blank games in 2024. I'm going to say eight. I think it'll be hefty. Like I, I think it'll be a big suspension. Uh, you guys let me know how long you think he'll miss. Now get yourself an Xavier Worthy jersey right now at chatsports.com slash worthy. He's going to have to pick up some of the slack, uh, assuming Rasheed Rice does miss some time. Uh, that link will be in the comments and in the description of this video, chatsports.com slash worthy. Pick up an Xavier Worthy jersey today. Could the Chiefs trade for wide receiver Jacoby Myers? They have been linked to the Raiders receiver. Our good friends over at Last Word on Sports always enjoy their work. David Latham saying Rasheed Rice is uh, staring down a major suspension, could miss the 2024 season, while the Raiders probably won't trade, uh, won't want to trade Jacoby Myers to their biggest division rival. They might not have a choice if Kansas City makes the best offer. Well, a couple things here. One, why would they not have a choice? Like, <laughs> they could just keep the decent player that he is. Uh, so I think that's a little silly. And two, why the hell would Vegas help out Kansas City? I mean, maybe mid-season if the Chiefs paid a huge premium and the Raven and the Raiders were struggling, possibly. But like, you're not going to do that in the offseason with the first-year head coach, and you're trying to uh, give um, Aiden O'Connell and/or Gardner Minshew as much weaponry as possible. Like Jacoby Myers had 800 yards and eight touchdowns last year. Like. The Raiders aren't trading them to the team they're chasing in Kansas City. So that, that's a bit ridiculous to, to even have that thought. Now, would I like him on the Chiefs team? Yeah, I mean, some would argue he'd be the best receiver on this roster if you take Rasheed Rice out of the mix. Now, I'm optimistic about Marquise Brown. I think his speed will be good. Same with Xavier Worthy on this offense. But he'd give you more of a possession receiver look that this team wouldn't have if Rice is out. So... I certainly would get it from Kansas City side, but if you're the Raiders, like unless the Chiefs are going to give you a first round pick for a guy that's not worth a first round pick, you're not trading Jacoby Myers with Myers within the division. It just makes no sense whatsoever. Now, will the Chiefs add a starting caliber wide receiver before Week One? What do you guys think? Type Y for yes, type in for no. I do think they'll make a move at some point. I just think it's inevitable. Now, maybe they wait till training camp and see how Sky Moore and Kadarius Tony are progressing, but. Uh, I think they're going to have to do something because uh, Rice is going to miss some time. It's a lot of pressure on Hollywood Brown and Xavier Worthy as a rookie to contribute right away. All right, I'm Harrison Graham. Be sure to subscribe to the Chiefs Report. Full schedule coming out on Wednesday. We'll have that covered, plus everything else surrounding this football team. Until then, we'll see you next time.